hi friends <coughs> and, and in this session i'm going to talk on the topic uh, java stream api <coughs> okay so this uh, <coughs> stream api uh, it's been added in java version 8 uh, to perform the <coughs> Uh, filter map reduce uh, operations with the collection okay and uh, so using this stream api uh, we can achieve sequential as well as well as parallel execution of the collection okay and uh, uh, java provides two methods one is stream and the other one is a parallel stream uh, that's been added to the collection interface all right so uh, both the stream both the methods gonna uh, get us the stream uh, for sequential and parallel execution all right that's about the <coughs> stream api let's get into the video i will show you in the program Here I'm <coughs> I create a class. I create a class named T Trim. Okay. And uh, <coughs> I make a check mark in the public static void main and click on finish. So this um, <coughs> uh, stream API, so that can be uh, when we ha that can be used uh, uh, with the huge collection. All right. So whenever uh, we do have a huge collection, and we can make use of this stream API. So here you can see the class named ttrim and then the main method okay so i'm going to import uh, the stream java dot <coughs> so I'm going to import the stream interface which resides in java.util.stream package. So here you can see on the screen. And then let me import array list and list interface. Okay. java.util. <coughs> List interface <coughs> Java dot util dot array list. <coughs> now, what I do, I just uh, create an array list. You can see I key in the list keyword and then the array list uh, reference variable and then the new keyword and then the keyword array list. So now I have created the array list near object named ml okay now i would like to add uh, huge elements to this array list ml so i am here i create a for loop 
int i equal 1 i less than or equal 100 i plus plus so this for loop iterates uh, 100 times from 1 to 100 all right uh, i declared integer variable i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 100 okay so it iterates 100 times so every time when it iterates i want to add an element to this array list object ml so i am <coughs> invoking the method add um, of the list interface so this add method which takes object parameter uh, you can see i am just selecting the add method and when i um, that's been passed as a parameter object pa parameter okay now i have <coughs> added 100 elements to this array list ml okay now now i'm gonna <coughs> get the sequential stream of this array list how do i get by using the stream method okay so <coughs> so stream so sequential stream um, just declare any <coughs> seq so it's a reference variable of stream interface okay and here i am just key in the array list object ml and then key in the dot so that it uh, pops up with the window that lists out many methods select the stream method so here you can see and this stream method which returns the stream <coughs> as a return value i'm just calling the stream method on the array list object ml so now i i have got the sequential stream that is stored in the seq stream reference variable now <coughs> now i would like to fetch uh, desired elements from this sequential stream how do i do that using the filter method all right so again this filter method which returns the stream so here i am just i declare <coughs> the stream and then the high nums equal you can see and i just key in the seq sequential stream dot when i key in the dot it shows many methods select the filter right this filter uh, it return <coughs> Uh, it res it resides in the stream stream interface okay so i'm just calling the filter method on the sequential stream object so this filter method which takes a uh, predicate as a parameter so i am just let me select this filter method and i pass in the condition here okay just you can see I key in P forward arrow mark and then P uh, <coughs> less than six. So the condition is P less than six. So based on this condition, the filter method works on the sequential stream and it will return the stream as the output i mean the return value okay now i have got the output what would be the output the condition is p less than six so 
in the sequential stream already it does have 1 to 100 right so uh, this condition makes to fetch the data from 1 to 5 and that's been uh, uh, stored in the uh, inums this variable all right so it's a stream interface uh, variable reference variable now we have got the desired elements and I would like to uh, traverse through this desired elements and uh, would like to print in the outstream so how do I do that use it by calling the for each method okay so now hi num as 9 ms dot so I just uh, key in the stream reference variable 9 ms and then the dot so it uh, <coughs> it displays few methods I need to select the for each so for each method uh, this method which takes uh, consumer object as a parameter so this for each method what it does uh, it is, uh, I mean uh, it travels through each and every element of the stream object items okay so here I pass in the <coughs> Uh, within the for each uh, method I pass in the parameter as p forward arrow and then I would like to print in the output stream so I just uh, use system dot out dot print ln okay um, here I'm just uh, <coughs> saying the sequential sequential stream CQ okay sequential stream uh, stream high nums okay that's it so <coughs> all the elements of this stream uh, items uh, got printed in the outstream so let me run this and I will show you see in the kernel we uh, program got executed we got the output sequential stream items colon one and then two and then three four five so uh, the condition we have given is uh, p less than six so less than six uh, the elements uh, are one to five so that got printed in the output stream so i believe uh, uh, you understood that's it so just uh, we have a huge uh, array list huge uh, collection array list which has 100 elements so just calling the stream method on the array list object we make we get the sequential stream once we get the sequential stream seq uh, on the sequential stream we call the filter method to get the desired elements so once we get the desired elements in the stream reference variable items I just print the uh, those uh, I just print those elements using the for each method uh, on the uh, stream object okay so the output got printed in the outstream Alright, so uh, let me show you how uh, we call, I mean, how we make use of the parallel stream method. So, 
again this parallel stream it returns a stream so let me create the return a stream parallel stream p stream i just reference variable name is p stream here uh, i just key in the ml uh, array list object ml and then key in the dot it list out a uh, few methods select the parallel stream that method returns a stream as a return value okay now <coughs> i just call the parallel stream on the array list object ml and i have got the parallel stream which is stored in the p stream right p stream object now i would like to get a desired elements from this parallel stream so what i do i just create a stream reference uh, variable i p stream okay um equal i use the p stream parallel stream object dot i key in the dot it uh, list out uh, many methods select the filter to get the desired elements so inside this filter pass in the condition so p and then forward slash p uh, greater than 5 and p less than 11 all right so now i have uh, called the filter method on the parallel stream object and i have got the desired elements that's been stored in the stream uh, object high p stream okay so now <coughs> um, using this uh, stream object i p stream uh, I would like to traverse uh, through each and every element of this stream um, named IP stream. So uh, I would like to traverse through this. I would like to traverse through each and every element of this stream. How do I do? Just by calling the for each method. So it um, for each. So this method it it uh, resides in the stream interface. Okay, the it takes the consumer as a object. So here within the forage, I'm just calling the forage method on the stream interface, stream object, and forage method does have a parameter that is I just pass in the uh, p forward slash forward arrow mark and then i would like to print the each and every element of the stream in the out stream so i just use system dot out dot print ln okay here i use p here i give parallel stream high p stream okay fine now um what i have done um similar to um sequential stream i have done the same stuff here uh, i just call the parallel stream method on the array list object ml and it returns a parallel stream all right that is stored in the p stream object so <coughs> um, this piece uh, I would like to fetch the desired elements from this parallel stream so I just call the uh, filter method which uh, I mean uh, which takes uh, the parameter condition as a parameter all right um, so and uh, and it returns the 
based on the condition this filter method returns the uh, stream um, that's been stored in the uh, stream uh, object hype p stream so once i got the stream uh, uh, desired elements in a stream i would like to uh, traverse through each and every element and uh, uh, get it uh, printed in the out stream using the uh, for each method that resides in the stream interface so i'm just calling the for each and uh, as a parameter i just uh, um, use the system dot out dot print ln and the uh, element each and every element uh, i just print using the for each method all right um, so let me run this see you can see in the output parallel stream high st high p stream 6 and then 7 and then 8 and then 9 10 uh, the because uh, in the filter method we have given passed in the condition which is p greater than 5 and p less than 11 so the so again the elements which falls in between 5 and 11 are 6 to 10 so that got fetched and uh, printed in the out stream okay fine this session i believe the this session would have given you much knowledge on the uh, stream api so <coughs> and then the stream um, how to create a sequential stream using stream method and how to create a parallel stream using the parallel stream method and um, um, you know <coughs> and one more uh, using filter method how to fetch the desired elements and uh, uh, print all those elements using the for each method all right so let me catch you with other topics in the upcoming session please do subscribe to the channel java track and click on the bell icon to get notified on new post um, if you like this session please share with your friends and well wishes uh, thanks for watching bye